Who hasn't felt that sense of loneliness and isolation as depicted in the paintings of Edward Hopper? It's a Hopper trademark, and for many, this work, Nighthawks, is the quintessential representation of the painter's personal vision. The temptation is to read all sorts of hidden meaning and symbolism in Hopper's works, but as the artist stated himself, the whole answer is there on the canvas. So, let's take a look at this painting. It's a relatively large work, measuring nearly three feet by five feet, and depicts an all-night diner on an empty, dimly lit street. The inside of the diner is harshly lit from fluorescent lights above, casting deep shadows over the faces of the patrons. The clientele includes a couple, the man, thin and gaunt-faced in a blue suit and fedora, and holding a cigarette, is half listening to the man behind the counter. The woman with the red blouse and the technicolor hair is preoccupied with what is supposedly a sandwich. The only other customer is a man with his back to the viewer. There's a newspaper under one elbow, and he appears to be reading a menu. They are loners, looking for respite on this way station to wherever. One gets the feeling they have nowhere better to go, nor anywhere they want to go. It's an elongated picture which gives it a rather cinematic feel. The composition is unique for its use of rectangular shapes. It's like a picture within a picture within a picture. The light from the diner radiates out onto the sidewalk, creating a mosaic pattern of greenish hues. In many of Hopper's paintings, the viewer becomes the voyeur, looking in, uninvited into the private lives of his subjects and even a public place can be as lonely as a quiet room. This seems especially true with Nighthawks. From our standpoint as the viewer, standing outside at a distance, we are confronted with the question, would it be better to join the melancholy of humanity inside the diner, or remain outside, surrounded by the warm darkness and anonymity of the city? It's a vision that touches a deep place in the American psyche, Hopper is considered part of the American Realist movement, but his paintings seem more noir, if you can apply that appellation to his paintings, as his work seems to anticipate the popular noir films of the 1940s and 50s. Hopper himself rejected the comparison with other painters or movements, stating, I think the American scene painters caricatured America. I always wanted to do myself. I'm Larry Withers, and this has been your two-minute masterpiece. If you enjoyed this episode of Two Minute Masterpiece, like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. This painting is available to purchase as a handmade oil painting reproduction from FirstArtGallery.com. With tens of thousands of satisfied customers, in more than 120 countries, we at FirstArtGallery.com are the world's largest supplier of made-to-order oil paintings. Our talented artists have created hundreds of thousands of paintings for art lovers around the world, as well as clients that include the royal family, major hotel chains, luxury cruise liners, museums, interior design firms, Hollywood production companies, and more.